Hi, I'm Melissa Baez. Um, let me just start off by thanking you guys for the time. Uh, I'm a parent of five and a proud Achievement First public charter school parent. As a Bridgeport resident born and raised, I knew I wanted more for my children. Once Achievement First came in the picture, I knew it was my choice and the right choice. I have no fight with the tradition of public school. I am a former public school student myself. I see my children's edu education as a priority, and I wanted more for them. I hear to, I'm here today to speak up for my children and myself when I say we welcome a Board of Ed mem members who are Achievement First Board, but I would like someone else. I feel that Ms. Pereira is a toxic individual, judging from videos on YouTube, articles in the paper, posts and comments on Facebook, and seeing it for myself as, at one of these meetings. I know she is not a good fit for my school. She is someone who sees my children as second class citizens. And as stated by her, students of the state, not students of Bridgeport. I am a taxpayer and a law abiding citizen who sees my children as a priority. And as any mother will fight to the death for my children. Here I am to fight my fight against the We are all parents and citizens of this city and we have a voice and we do not need her voice of negativity and hatred towards growth and choice in my school. I welcome and embrace change, but we need someone who has an open mind and is willing to build with us, not try to bring us down. I urge you all to revisit this matter. I do not feel the need to have someone as opposed to choice as Ms. Pereira. We have come together to show you we are not taking this appointment lightly and we need another voice for the board. Thank you for your time. Good evening, everyone. My name is Hakeem Lawal. I have children in uh, my children first. I'm the resident of the fort, and I'm a concerned parent. Um, when this was brought to my notice, I was really, really concerned. And I believe that these board members that we're looking at, you are, you are here to represent the interest of the children. Am I right? So if we have someone amongst you who's, who has stood against the interest of the children, with documented evidences, I am wondering what she's doing there. So, knowingly, we are jeopardizing the interests of our children on the platter of politics. So I submit, I won't take too much time, I submit that we need to look into that and have someone else who will speak up for the children. Thank you. Your full name for the record. What's your full name, sir? Hakeem Bawa. Bawa. Thank you. Next we have Mr. Jean Wade. Jean Morris Wade. I'm sorry, Miss Jean Morris Wade. Mrs. Jean Morris Wade. Good evening. Uh, my name is Jean Morris Wade, and I'm a proud parent of twin boys at the Achievement. Report Academy. Uh, a few days ago, we brought to my attention about the appointee to the board at AAPA. Um, after acknowledging that I don't know the individual, I was informed to look at social media and I was shocked because, as an adult, I expected more from a board of a um, person. Now, Based on what I'm hearing and what I've seen on social media, my question is, what is the aim um, for Mr. P. Pereira to be a part of our board? Because based on what I've seen and heard, it doesn't seem like you have the same vision as we do at AFBA. Now, as a person from Jamaica, I was born here, but my kids were, and I want the best for them, more than what I had in Jamaica. Now, I'm a brand new widow and raising boys. I 
didn't want the best. My kids were cooking hard when their dad died. And they were so much support at that school. And I look up to them, because there's so many father figures in that school. And I would like someone who's coming on board to be a part of the vision. We welcome anyone, just someone who's a part of our vision, who sees, even if it's not exactly, but someone who's progressive, someone who's, who's not a naysayer, we welcome anyone that, as long as that person is someone who is for the kids. Thank you. Mary, what's your last name? You can teach me how to say it. Thank you. Mr. Dennis Bradley chopped up my whole name. I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's okay. Sorry. Sorry. How do you say it again? Paredes. Paredes. Okay. I'm going to remember for next time. Cool. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. This is the sound of my voice. Um, so obviously, my children, well, not obviously, my children, my two children go to um, the Parker Charter School Achievement first. And I am here because I try to make it out to as many meetings as I can, and I really can't because I sometimes work late. And basically, I am on board with the rest of the, the parents that are on that are here tonight, you know, I came today to say that I, I am not um, in favor of this appointee to our board, you know. Um, not only the things I see on social media, but the, the feeling they gave me in my stomach, like, you know, this person doesn't like what we're doing or what this school is doing. So it's like my, the ulterior motive of, you, of that person being on this board concerns me. As a parent that's working hard as a taxpayer here, a law-abiding citizen of Bridgeport, um, for my children. I do that so they can have an example of someone that they can look up to. You know, I'm now in my, I'm 34 years old and I make sure I work full time, I go to school, and I sh I'm showing them this is what you do. So to have them go somewhere that's doing college preparedness from kindergarten is amazing to me. So to have someone that's gonna come and not be a part of that in a positive way gives me pause. You know, it makes me think like, you know, what is it that you would like to offer us if all I see is negativity? You know, and it's not something that I, you know, didn't think about. I thought about, you know, I'm not personally attacking this person because I'm sure she's worked hard to get where she, to where she is. You know, and I thought for that as a woman and as a sister. Citizen. That's my time. Thank you for your letting me talk this evening. Have a good evening. Good evening, board members. Good evening. My name is Laquita Bowles, for the record. I am a parent of Achievement First School. I'm a Bridgeport parent leader. I'm a member of the, the constituency. I am a taxpayer. I am a community volunteer. I am so grateful my children are attending one of the highest performing schools in the district. They are performing at a very high level of reading as well as math. I have a problem. A member on this panel has been appointed to the Achievement First Board of Directors. This individual has dramatically shown over the years in our community how she has a clear agenda to divide our education platform in many, many ways. This is clearly not in the best interest of our children. As an Achievement First parent, I am enthusiastic about the productive partnership between the Board of Ed and Achievement First. I need an elected Board of Education member appointed by the Achievement First Board of Directors who understands all perspectives of school choice and how great education in our community matters. I need someone who can make the right decisions on my behalf, not from bad and bitter emotions, but from real results that work for the children we love. The solution shouldn't be to divide and conquer the answer shall be making clear, influential, and positive decisions for our future. 
You must take action and be the change you said will take place in our communities. And demand, and I demand you uphold your oath of office. My name is Laquita Bowles. With all due respect and without prejudice, I do not consent to Miss Maria Pereira being appointed as member of Achievement First Bridgeport Board of Directors. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Kwame Phillips. I'm a Bridgeport resident, parent of three scholars who have attended traditional public schools here in Bridgeport in the past, and currently attend Achievement First Bridgeport Academy public charter schools. I am here today, along with other concerned parents, guardians, and community members, to ask the board to reconsider the appointment of board member Maria Pereira to our Achievement First board. You have been hearing from many concerned families, why board member Maria Pereira is most emphatically the wrong choice to join our board. We certainly look forward to working with a different appointee that will share in our vision to provide, to provide our children a high quality education, ensuring that we'll be successful in college and have futures in their life. We also have some, we, excuse me, have options in their life. We also want someone that respects our families having school choice. Ms. Maria Pereira does not, and she has made this abundantly clear any opportunity she gets. In addition, if we want positive change, we cannot allow individuals like Ms. Pereira and others that seek to create animosity and division in our community to succeed. I don't care what school your child attends. We all want the best for our kids. And this will only happen if we all unite, because we are all in the same fight. I call for unity, and I demand that our elected leaders lead with integrity. Social equality for our black and Latino children will only be accomplished when we prepare them to be successful, well-rounded individuals, and we cannot afford this nonsense. In conclusion, we look forward to establishing a positive relationship our, to our AF board and the B and the Bridgeport Board of Education. And I again call on the board to appoint a member that exhibits the traits that we want our, our own kids to emulate, and that is respect, honesty, integrity, strength of character, and a heart to fight for those that don't yet have a voice, our children. Thank you.